1915. The middle of the First World War, technology advancing, and cars becoming more popular, a glass plant was built in a small Canadian town on more than 200 acres of land, with the plant taking up more than 40 acres. At one time it was the largest glass factory in the world, with the train running through the property and the glass factory being a popular stop on the route. Houses were built up around the factory to create a community so workers could socialize in their off hours. It operated for more than 15 years until the 1930s when they were unable to keep up with the growing demand of plate glass windows for mass car production. Fast forward to 1967 and a very large and popular manufacturer that makes car parts was on the rise. And it was looking to invest and expand their business by building and expanding plants in Canada. This specific plant was used to build vehicle frames until later it was producing drive shafts and other car parts. The plant went on to win awards for excellence, specifically in 2001 and 2002. Things seemed to be going well for the most part, until four years later in 2006, when the company announced it would be shutting down eight plants across Canada and the US. Protected by Chapter 11 bankruptcy at the time, the company said, Overcapacity and high operating costs at our facilities in the US and Canada are burdening our performance and negatively affecting our financial results. In June of 2012, six years after the closure, a wind turbine manufacturing company bought the 450,000 square foot facility and invested $25 million. This would be the first North American plant, with their others being in China. It was a big accomplishment for the company, but in less than a year from opening, a worker was crushed between two large power sections, bringing the company a hefty $80,000 fine. Less than a year later, a structural 15-foot ring fell from a stowage rack and critically injured yet another employee who required surgery. The company was fined once again for $75,000. And in finally, in 2015, the company decided to let go of all of its employees and close its doors. Last listed on the market for $20 million, nobody jumped to the sale and since then it has been vacant. On September 5th, 2020, emergency crews were dispatched to the factory where heavy smoke was reported to be coming out. An office was fully engulfed in flames and flames spewed out from the building. Luckily, the fire department is less than two minutes away from the plant. They managed to save the majority of the factory, but was left with heavy damage. Today, this plant sits fully open, neglected, with wind and rain slowly destroying the building, leaving this massive factory more than likely to be torn down in the future. Now that you know the history, come with me and explore this forgotten factory.